Hi guys, here's a few ideas for you to get you started with your stained glass window. So what I want you to first do is, I'm just using Word, but you can use other programs. But if I use Word, I want to first of all make sure that I've got my rulers showing. So a rule across the top and down the side. So if you go to the view option here, then there is a ruler tab that you can select. So do that first. Then I'm going to go across to my insert menu and I want to insert a number of different shapes. And I'm going to start with some rectangles. So I am just going to draw myself a rectangle for the moment. And I know this is going to be my piece of lead. So I'm going to color it in black um, and make sure that this is the right size. So at the moment, if I go across to this right hand side here this tells me exactly how big my rectangle is so to start with the frame i want it a nice size so i want it to be exactly one centimeter tall because that's how big the lead is then i want to make the length of it or the width of it there a nice number so i'm just going to make that exactly 18. so there is my piece of lead to go across the top now I'm going to copy that, so I'm going to say copy, and I am going to paste that object again, so I've got another piece, and I'm going to put that down the bottom. Then I'm going to copy this uh, again, and now I can rotate this. So there is this little circle part here that will allow me to turn this around. Or if I want to just turn it in a nice way, so under my drawing tools at the top there I've got this format menu and I can go across to the rotate option here and I can rotate just by set amount, so 90 degrees, flip vertical, flip horizontal or if I want a more specific angle under this more rotation options I can actually choose the exact angle that I want to put it in. So I'm just going to do a 90 degree flip round and so I'm going to put that going here but obviously I need it to be a bit longer but I want it to be a nice number so I'm going to say well let's try for 29 and see is that no that's going to be too long so let's try 27 and that looks like it's going to be a much better measurement so I'm going to do that and I'm going to line that up and put this nicely lined on the bottom and check that that's yep lined up and now I'm going to copy this and paste and I'm going to put this there so there is my border now what I want to do is I want to design the window so I'm going to say right let me do some more of these and I might decide that I want to split it because um, I need at least five different shapes in my stained glass window. So let me divide that there. And now in this top one, let me copy another one, I'm going to rotate this around a bit. And I'm going to make this into, in fact, let me make it into a weird shape. I'm going to make it into a triangle and a trapezium. So let me change the length to the right length that it fits in there. And I just need to make sure that it's still one centimeter wide. So what I've got now at the top here is I've got a triangle and a trapezium. So I am going to now fill in those shapes. So I'm now going to come to the, my insert and insert shapes. And I've got a whole range of different shapes that I could use. So I'm going to start with a triangle. And I'm going to say, right, let me do a triangle here. Make that fill in there. And it's a purple one. I like purple, so that's all good. Um, and I can even see the exact measurements of that shape. So I might need to tidy these up to exact numbers. And there we go. Um, so I'm just going to zoom this in a bit more now. Okay. 
and oh, just tidy these up. Okay, so that there is a triangle and I know the dimensions of it so under my format menu there I can see it's a seven centimetre tall by six and a half centimetre wide so you can now calculate the area of that shape. Then to do this piece in here that trapezium I could do that by inserting a shape and I've got a trapezium of this type okay but that gives me a trapezium but this then and this little yellow dot here if I move that dot that changes the exact dimensions of it but that's not quite the kind of trapezium I want for this particular one so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to draw my own shape and so I'm going to collect um, this one here which says a it's called a free form shape and just to give you an idea of what I do is I if I hold down the shift key as I'm doing this it makes sure that it's a nice straight line oh let me try that again talking and, and trying to draw at the same time and my brain didn't quite work so I'm going to go there click down click across click and up to there and that shades it in and let me say no I want that shaded in blue now thank you very much um, and I can see there I haven't made it the exact right size so I can change that by changing these limits and you can see there it's kind of overflowing a little bit um, so particularly down the bottom here you can see I haven't got these points in exactly the right place so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to this edit shape menu here and I can edit the points so I can actually pull this shape corner there back so I can pull just that particular corner and get it exactly where I want it and now that gives me a shape and it tells me its general height is 7.42 centimeters it's length and that's the length of the longest side is 15.01 centimeters so if I need to find out how long the shortest side is there I can put that up against my ruler and measure it that way or another option is I can just get, insert a line and say okay let me draw a line just going from that corner across to that corner and let me just make that into a nice thick red line so that you can see it so that there so I've just drawn a little red line and I can if I click on that that will tell me it's 8.41 centimeters wide so I can get the dimensions that I need to work out the area of that trapezium okay so what if I now wanted to for example do a circle so let me go to my shapes and add a circle in and if I just draw a circle you see how it's changing the measurements and it can look like more like an ellipse okay if I hold the shift key down so hold down the shift key that keeps it as a perfect circle so I'm going to draw that circle and I'm going to do that as a solid black color and then I'm going to draw another circle which I'm going to put inside and that's going to be my um, stained glass part so let's fill this in yellow and the outline is also going to be yellow so I want to sit these on top of each other and I need to make sure that my border there is exactly one centimeter wide so if I click on the big black circle I can see my dimensions here 6.2 by 6.2 let me make that nice let's go six centimeters by six centimeters and then if that's six centimeters diameter across and six centimeter diameter that way so six centimeter diameter then I want this yellow one to have a four centimeter diameter so one centimeter border there one centimeter border on the other side so I want this to have a diameter of four centimeters so under my drawing tools I'm going to make this into a four centimeter by four centimeter circle 
and now I can line these two up and there is a circle so what you guys need to do design yourself some kind of stained glass window and you've got a whole bunch of different shapes that you can use so diamonds you've got pe um, pentagons hexagons etc you can even do parts of circles so if I wanted to draw for example three quarters of a circle I could do that and I can even change so this little these little yellow dots they will allow me to make parts of circles um, if I want to have a pie, make a Pac-Man or something, there's all sorts of things that I could do with that. Um, so yes, so have a little play and if there's anything that you're not sure about, let me know um, and I can give you a hand with how we go about doing that.